Hello, I'm Air Force Veteran Ed Ruckel from Veteran Facilitator, where keeping you informed is my passion. If you're a veteran, you're two and a half times more likely to get this if. And you're going to learn what that if is right after this brief message. If you like what I'm doing here, click that subscribe button down below. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so that you don't miss another video. Let's get started. A recent video produced by the Veterans Administration revealed that if you're a Vietnam veteran exposed to Agent Orange, that you're two and a half times more likely to be diagnosed with some kind of dementia. Now, I'm not the expert here, right? So I'm going to show you a video and uh, let the talking do the walking and uh, you're going to learn a lot more than I could ever explain. And don't hang up at the end of the video because i got important information to add in at the end and uh, that'll help you along the way. Let's watch a video. The doctors at the VA are often thinking about, oh, you might have had this type of exposure and that's mm -hmm. the reason why you have this medical condition and they might be able to link things together. Um, that may not be so much the case though for veterans who are seeking care out in the private sector. Right. Um, there may be certain symptoms or conditions that they have that they may or may not think has anything to do with their military service. So for individuals that are out there that may have Agent Orange exposure uh, or family members of, you know, people that have Agent Orange exposure, what kind of symptoms and illnesses and things are we talking about? Mm -hmm. And so what's really interesting is it's not even so much that these are illnesses that wouldn't occur in everyday life, right? So some of the things we think about like diabetes or high blood pressure or you know, any sort of heart disease or respiratory problems or gastrointestinal problems. It's not like we wouldn't necessarily see them, especially when we're talking about, you know, an aging population. Right. Um, cause, because all of these disorders or illnesses, you know, tend to occur um, as you age. Mm -hmm. What we tend to see, however, is that individuals have been experiencing these disorders or these illnesses for a way longer period of time. So even in the VA system, a lot of what happens is that people are sort of just treated for different symptoms and it's not really seen as something that is a global illness. Okay. So really with Agent Orange, Orange exposure, one of the things that we're starting to see, especially now, I think it's really important when people are developing different types of dementias. And, you know, we've known for a long time that different types of cancers like lung cancer, even brain cancer are higher in individuals who have Agent Orange exposure. One of the things that's been found pretty le recently is that it's two and a half times more likely for Vietnam veterans to be diagnosed with a kind of dementia, meaning a memory disorder and an inability to take care of yourself. So I would think that um, as individuals are starting to see different symptoms of dementia, that it's worthwhile to have that checked out by a VA physician just to see if it can be related to service in Vietnam. That's bananas. It's kind of yeah. scary too. It's really scary. It is. It's really scary. And I think, you know, part of it for um, Vietnam veterans is that a lot of this, obviously, it's been going on for a really long time. And so, you know, just the buildup of these toxins in the system, it has a devastating effects. So, you know, maybe diabetes is worse than it would have been otherwise, or blood pressure is higher than it would have been otherwise, or cholesterol and things like that. Or the illness starts sooner or... Or it starts, right, starts sooner, or when there's no family history, um, because a lot of these illnesses also, disorders tend to run in families, 
but you see that no one else in the family has you know diabetes and all of a sudden you know this patient who has been you know has had these toxic exposures the free VA New England mobile app is empowering those who served our country like never before. Access up-to-date information on benefits, health care, home loans, and more. Search VA New England in your app store today and access the benefits you've earned and deserve. Well, there you have it. Just a high-level overview explaining that if you're a Vietnam-era veteran exposed to Agent Orange, that you're two and a half times more likely to be diagnosed with some kind of dementia. But don't take my word for it, folks. Contact your local VA. Talk to your VA provider about this and uh, get the straight skinny. If you like what I'm doing here, click that subscribe button down below. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And if you want help with this, just go to myveteranfacilitator.com. It's in the description below. Click on that link and join my, you know, uh, ground support program. Uh, and we'll help you all the way. It's totally free. It doesn't cost you a dime. Till next time, have yourself a great day.